Hello, uh, it's Sonia here. Today I'm going to be sharing um, a couple of abstract sketchbook processes and that was just a quick head sketch that um, I did and I think I did this yesterday morning before I went on to doing some abstract work. Um, but yeah, so it's about, it's not the longest video, it's about 12 minutes, so uh, get your sketchbook out if you fancy it, come join me. Um, I thought I'd share this process because I had a lot of fun with it, it's pretty quick, um, so quick that I did do two sketchbooks um, and basically for this one I used, I found my like gold ink um, bottle that I'd had in a drawer and I thought this was a good jumping off point to start a spread and I just wanted to get loose and draw as it were with, um, with brushes uh, to start with. And I also, I don't know, if you see I'm wearing like a, I was thinking about this, I don't know why I limited my colours, it might have been my um, jumper, but I kind of limited it to uh, gold, black, to gold and black really, is the only two um, colours I use in these spreads. And I was obviously feeling like working fast, that was just my mood, maybe it's because I just completed a pretty tight um, pencil portrait from you know I'd copied um, a, a master and I felt like I really wanted to loosen up and play with um, with gouache this is gouache black gouache paint and um, just at the same time I was craving a little bit of simplicity I think I, I definitely was looking at keeping um, much more much more of the white space in the sketchbook and I definitely wasn't in a detail orientated mood. So uh, yeah, you can see the process, they're both real time. Um, I also thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about um, some ideas or tips that I've got for like warming up in terms of abstract art. Like, I guess I saw this as a bit of a warm up exercise and it made me think, that sometimes uh, before in the morning, especially to get going, and I'm kind of almost talking to myself here because after I've done this voice over, over oh, voice, oh my gosh, I can't speak, voiceover, then I need to, I think I probably will do um, a, a warm up sketch too. And uh, how to, some ideas to appro uh, approach it really. And so the first thing I would say um, with, with warm up exercises, Oh, you want something that's easy to go to and almost like narrow to narrow it down a bit so uh, you're not going to just dwell on all the possibilities or get caught up in your thoughts. So one of the things is obviously, I know so many people talk about this, but it really does work and it's kind of what I'm doing in this video, is limitations. So for me, um, yeah, and I'm giving myself ideas here as well, like you could go extreme. So I was just thinking about, and there are some pages I'll share when I do the sketchbook tour, but like limiting yourself to one colour. So then you really are exploring shapes and mark making because you haven't got other colours to bounce. It's, it's, unless it's, if it's on a white page, okay, maybe you've got a red against the white, but you're concentrating on... Um, on um, yeah, sorry, I just got a bit distracted because it looked like my video froze, but no, it's fine. Oh, I'm showing the red sketchbook page. I actually do end up flicking through. But yeah, so um, limiting yourself to one or two colours, uh, maybe three colours. The other thing, I think I did another sketchbook process where I talked about um, three material limitations, like only having grabbing three materials and that's what you're going to use um, on your abstract sketch or any sketch really. So yep, yeah, you could limit yourself with materials or mediums. You can also with abs, this is probably more specific to abstract um, work, limit yourself to the number of shapes you're using. So maybe use all the materials, but think about uh, if you're just going to use ovals or um, squares or uh, yeah like just limiting yourself in terms of the shapes that are becoming involved in your composition. Um, what's it? Sometimes I write this stuff down I can't read my own writing. So yeah you could start with a material as your jumping off point that you've hated in the past. Uh, so um, 
I think I like I've used sometimes I'll start I've got these hard pastels or these Conte crayons that uh, I don't sometimes love the scrape of them on the paper but if I I want to use them so I'll start with a scrawl and then that's my kind of jumping off point um, to add in other materials like just to kind of like use it and if you really hate that material hey that's maybe a good reason to get rid of it declutter give it away if um it's you know if there's no point in using something if it's really un horrible to use from a tactile point of view i think uh a great one that um i think maggie hamblin um spoke about in a podcast the um, painter the british painter is using your non-dominant hand so apparently she spoke about um in every morning she will use for me i've uh, completed a few sketches with my right hand just using your non-dominant hand and that is an amazing way i think to warm up because it just feels so foreign and you're going to be so less controlled um it feels i don't know if anyone else feels this i'm so left-handed in terms of drawing that it feels it feels really w weak and ungainly and um it's like, I can't, I don't know how this, stiff. But at the same time, if I keep going with it, I end up with some really, I think, exciting, like that whole sort of childlike marks that look a bit different, spontaneous, um, just more, to my mind, a bit more lively and attractive if you're in sort of a more naive style or spontaneous style. And uh, obviously I've used this lots in processes um, if you've seen my videos before, but collage. So here, okay, sorry. Here I, I loved that sketch so much and I, um, I felt it was finished and I wanted to stop. And now, because I'm at the end, nearly at the end of that abstract sketchbook, I've started another abstract <laughs> sketchbook ready to take over. It's um, again, a cheaper A4 sketchbook that I, got a pack of three off off Amazon um, and I'm sort of a bit tentatively because I don't know how this paper is going to take a lot of the media again but this is going to be my new one for when I've finished that previous one so I was like okay that page I feel is done let's go into this one and do I enjoyed it so much I want to just carry on with that with this with this particular you know just using gold and black um, Okay, so yeah, so then I've so I've lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, so collage, like if before I put the gold down, sometimes the blank, however experienced we are, however cheap our paper, for whatever reason, um, that whole having a white page can be uh, some days, not all the time. Some days it's like a joy, but some days it's a little bit overwhelming. Slap in a little bit of collage, and then it's not a totally blank page anymore and you have to respond to that piece of collage. So it's always handy also to keep old work um, to cut up. I know this is all, I'm sure lots of artists have, you've probably listened to this, is nothing new, but I just thought sometimes it's good to be reminded, and if you wanted to like get in the zone to do more, um, more abstract art or looser work, this, these are some ideas. Okay, here's another, um, something I wanted to talk about, which is, Maybe before you go into drawing, some days I actually think um, journaling or free writing is a nice little way of getting out of your own head, especially if you've got a lot going on and a lot of worries and practical issues, a bit like a brain dump. Again, the morning that this is all has been said before, it's um, Julia Cameron's sort of morning pages, I guess, for some people. I don't... For me, it could just be writing one page or just writing some things down can actually allow me to then get into drawing. Um, I just feel I've dealt with that, those thoughts, or dealt with making that list of things to do. Um, I can then sort of leave that practical side and embrace, embrace whatever it is I want to in my art. Uh, music. I think I shared a uh, abstract sketchbook where I did keep to every morning and it tended to be the first thing I did, listen to one piece of music from different genres and I would respond to it with uh, abstract work. And um, 
yeah, my other, another quick thought is maybe to just silence. Uh, that's something I find really hard. I like to have, I like to have um, sounds around me, like music or podcasts um, when I'm drawing or a video on that I can listen to. But you could, you could push, you could sit in, I'm sure a lot of you, maybe some of you need silence. Silence and then something maybe I was thinking bit about is uh, sitting with a feeling, however we're feeling, and then responding to it, like, in a way. So am I going to respond, um, responding with marks? So that particular feeling, whatever it is, do, or how, where does that take me? Is it going to be sort of dots? Is it very rigid? Am I wanting control? Am I going to do squiggles? Sometimes I know, like, you know, harsh scratches. Are you going to be scratching or scrawling into the paper? Um... Do you want to use paint? Are you needing to feel that sort of tact tactile, the pleasure of the paint going on the page? So yeah, so these are some ideas. I'm coming towards the end of this process. And as you can see, I also had fun with the gouache paint. Then I went in with some, um, keeping it black, this sort of metallic black Crayola marker. And I... My go-to mark making is always dashes for whatever reason a lot of the time. I love to just add dashes. And yeah, I personally, I really enjoyed these spreads. I'm definitely going to be coming back to this technique and this limitation um, again. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I hope maybe there was a few, uh, some, I don't know, some ideas. Maybe hopefully you're drawing or keen to get drawing and exploring. Um your sketchbook uh yeah i do have a patreon as well where i share behind the scenes shots of all these sketchbooks and my desk and yep i will i will leave it there so thanks and i will see you in a hopefully in another video bye